Fatigue, it is something we have all experienced at some point. Maybe you felt tired, had difficulty staying focused, lacked motivation, or maybe your eyes felt like lead and you found it hard to stay awake. But what is fatigue actually? There are many definitions, but if we really want to understand fatigue, we must differentiate between two existing types, physical fatigue and mental fatigue. With physical fatigue, your muscles feel worn down and hard to operate, while mental fatigue affects your cognitive functions. There are two types of fatigue. The two types of fatigue have different causes and must be treated accordingly. Let's take physical fatigue. The main trigger that causes it is physical exertion. Imagine running a marathon and pushing your body to its limits. Naturally, it reacts and gives you a signal to stop and recharge. Physical fatigue can also be made worse by illness, lack of appropriate nutrition and dehydration. However, physical exertion is the main cause. To cure fatigue caused by physical exertion, you need to rest, just like an athlete. In order to keep performing at an optimal level in sports like basketball, players take frequent turns on the bench to recover before returning to the court again. So, to counter the effects of physical fatigue, ensure you take rest breaks at regular intervals. Mental fatigue, however, is triggered mainly by lack of sleep. Illness and stress might also contribute, but lack of sleep is the main cause. To cure mental fatigue, resting is not enough. What you need is a sufficient amount of good quality sleep to replenish yourself. In regards to your safety and well-being, mental fatigue typically represents a larger risk than physical fatigue. If you become physically fatigued, but continue to exert yourself, you stand the risk of picking up a soft tissue injury, such as a sprain or strain. But if you become mentally fatigued, things become more dangerous, as critical activities, such as driving whilst drowsy, can lead to disastrous consequences. Regular mental fatigue can also decrease your well-being by reducing your energy and motivation to engage in health-promoting activities such as exercise and spending time with family and friends. To effectively manage fatigue in any organisation, therefore, it is important to prioritise addressing mental fatigue caused by lack of sleep. From a company perspective, this starts with appropriate roster design and ensuring employees have adequate breaks and free time to get the sleep they need. It may also entail providing employees with training on how to optimise the quantity and quality of sleep they obtain. From a personal perspective, it is important to use your breaks and free time appropriately by getting enough sleep and addressing sleeping problems quickly when they occur. In the event you find yourself too tired to work safely, you should immediately communicate this to your supervisor or other appropriate person. In all cases, your safety and well-being is what matters most, and this starts with making sleep a priority.